everybody in BC and YouTube land. First of all, I wanted to just uh, kind of uh, after the fact, but wish everyone a Merry Christmas because I haven't made a video since then. And Happy New Year. Hope you had a great New Year's Eve last night and having a great day today with family, friends, good food, watching movies, listening to music, watching football, running around outside with your dog or just having fun or whatever you're doing. Hope it's a great year ahead for everybody out there. And uh, so as uh, with the belated Christmas, also a belated unboxing or something that I got on December 18th. Now, something else came out that day, as you all probably know, McCartney 3, and that's been the buzz and the talk of the town on the VC last week and a half or so, and that's as it should be. Great album. I'm still playing it, still enjoying it, and it's a really strong, solid album. But I wanted to uh, mention this because it hadn't really got any mention that I've seen, and it just certainly deserves credit, and this is something by The Kinks that I got on that same day that I got the McCartney 3 stuff, the 50th anniversary box set. So they did a 50th anniversary box set in 2018 for Village Green, big box with a couple of vinyl albums and CDs and a book and posters and all sorts of stuff. Then in 2019, they did one for the great album Arthur, came out in 69. Didn't have the vinyl, but it had a lot of CDs, the book and a lot of the other goodies. And so this year marks the 50th anniversary of, take this out of here, Lola, which was um, kind of a uh, return to the public eye for the band in America because they had not been able to, uh, they've been making great, great music, some of the greatest singles and albums ever made, in my opinion, for the past five years, but they had been banned from America from 64, 65 to about 69. So even though they still had a, a following of sorts in America in those days, they were pretty much out of sight, out of mind to most people because they just simply weren't able to come over here and play concerts, television appearances, radio interviews, and, and so forth. So not able to put themselves out in the public eye in America. And then they were able to start touring again toward the mid late 69 this comes out in 1970 title track is a huge hit in america it got to number nine uh, their biggest hit in several years uh, as a hit in england and then of course eight man was a hit also in england sort of a minor hit over here but just a really great incredible album i'm not going to review it i reviewed all the kinks albums several years ago so if you're interested you can go back and watch those but just wanted to show off show off what I got here but it is a great album it's uh this would be a solid 10 there's there's a uh, top to front uh, really not a bad song on this album there's several songs that probably should have been 45s that maybe could have been hits if they would have been promoted I think um but just just great I, I might if I was to rank I might rank this just a little below the four albums that came before it but it's just a matter of uh, just, it just you know, tenths of an inch or so because it's sort of like like comparing We Can Work It Out and Day Tripper. Both are tens. I love both. You know, someone might like one over the other or vice versa, but they're still both great. And this is a really great, really strong album. So you got your box set. And uh, here's the back. You've got three CDs. And a book and so forth and we'll just uh, open this up nothing in there got the uh, front and the back you open it up you get the um, this is the original CD remastered this is the second CD that's uh, outtakes demos and so forth and then there's a third CD up there that's also outtakes and demos and in this fourth pouch down here we get this thing out of here is um, just uh, some photographs of the band which are pretty pretty cool from time of the album coming out circa 1970 that's a nice one there and uh, so you got that 
Then you also get, you might have already noticed, you get a 45 of eight man and rats. That's a reproduction of a Portuguese 45. I think that's the Portuguese one. I'm going to double check here for accuracy's sake. Yeah, that's the Portuguese one. And then in the back, you get Lola and Berkeley Muse, both great songs. And um, that's Italian. 40, reproduction of the Italian 45. Yes, that is right. Reproduction of the Italian 45. And... Um, so we'll see what else we got here. Hype sticker I took off the cellophane and stuck there so I could keep it. And then you get a book of uh, pictures of the band and interviews, current interviews with band members. I haven't really, just sort of flipped through this, I haven't read it yet. I will, but uh, current interviews with the band talking about the making of the album and so forth. And there's some of the different picture sleeves and newspaper articles reviews and so forth of the album at the time it came out so that's neat stuff i'm looking into uh digging into that and i just really haven't gotten around to it yet other than listening to the first cd of the just remastered the proper album the album proper remastered also because i was one of the first ones to order this i guess if this is the the first uh 500 or first 1000 people had ordered the box set which i believe is limited also got this um Lola Berkeley Muse reproduction picture sleeve, which is still sealed. I'm not sure which country this is from. Maybe it's the English one. I don't know. Um, but so I got that, and uh, that's even more limited than the box set itself. So I was glad to have that. I was fortunate enough to do the same with um, the Village Green and the Arthur sets. Those both had a a seat uh, a 45 that only went to the first 500 or whatever people to order. So, great album, definitely worth checking out. There's, um, last year, 2020, was a lot of 50th anniversaries with Let It Be, All Things Must Pass, Plastic Ono Band, McCartney. Those all got a lot of notice, which they certainly should have. But I uh, just wanted to make sure that the Kinks got a little notice, too. I also got a vinyl record of it. Uh, which is remastered and so forth and the reason I got this is because um, it has reproduces the original artwork the gatefold which I had once upon a time somewhere along the line I sold it lost it I don't know what the one that I've copy that I have right now is just a single sleeve sort of a flimsy uh, re-release from I don't know the 80s or the 90s or something so I wanted to have one with the original artwork and you get, it's just the regular record. It's not a bonus disc or anything in here, but it's on really heavy vinyl. I haven't played this yet. I've only played the CD, but I'm looking forward to listening to it. And you also get this book, which wasn't in the original album, which is um, smaller than the book in the box set, but Looks like it's pretty much some of the same pictures and information. I haven't read through this yet either. Uh, yeah, so I just wanted to, uh, not much of a video, just wanted to show off the, the two kinks items I got there. I really love this album. And uh, if you haven't checked it out, if you only know Lola and maybe Eight Man 2, it's definitely an album worth giving a listen to because it, it's it's a, it's a corker and it's a, it's a, it's a 10 in my book really great album i don't know if they're going to keep on with these 50th anniversary things because after after the lola album they went over to rca records for a few years and then they went to arista records i believe after that in the mid 70s so i don't know who owns the rights to all that stuff so muswell hillbillies which they had already done a few years ago for record store day a double album with the second album being some outtakes and stuff so I don't know if there's much left to do a box set on things like Muswell and Everybody's in Showbiz and some of the 70s albums on up. I hope they keep doing it because uh, I did dig into the Village Green and the Arthur sets and there are a lot of good fun stuff on there in addition to just the regular album. And uh, But they're doing a good job with these, sort of like um, Paul does with the archive sets. Uh, the Kinks are 
for the last three years putting out these 50th anniversary editions and fun stuff, good stuff, and, uh, you know, some of the greatest albums ever made. I, I, Beatles, Kinks, and Jam, I always say those are my top three bands. So, anyway, uh, I hope they keep going. I hope we get a Muswell next year and a Showbiz the year after that and soap opera and preservation and all that stuff down the road. But we will see. So, that's about it. I am running behind on my Rolling Stones reviews. I realize that. Next up is Beggar's Banquet. I just I haven't had a chance to listen to the album. And this one I haven't listened to, and it's been a while since I've listened to it. And it's an album I've had for decades, so I know the thing like the back of my hand, uh, forwards and backwards. But I want to give it a few fresh listens just before I do a review on that. So I will try to do that. It's probably not going to happen this weekend, but maybe next weekend. And uh, some more things coming up. Anyway, have fun on New Year's. And we will see you later on. Take care, everybody. Hope this year is better than last.